It is a gray Tuesday and it's kind of raining out. It's not terribly cold. So I'm inside. Oh, you can probably see. Um, just doing some stuff inside the house and I got all my grow lights affixed to the rack um, in the directions they showed putting two, 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 and then the last two, one on each. But I figured that I wasn't going to be using this top shelf because it's kind of, it would be hard for me to see, and I'm not going to be uh, starting that many plants. Um, so I will use that top shelf for storage, and then I will have four shelves for starting seeds. Um, I'm thinking about starting some angelica. I've, I've kept my angelica seeds in the refrigerator and I, st I started them <coughs> in ground outside last year and they grew but then um, I think some voles got some of them. They just they just didn't thrive. So I'm going to try starting them inside first to see if I can get them a little bit more hardy. But in the meantime, I did an experiment. Um, if any of you have seen my cyanotypes, which are these prints here that I use. Um, I use a sensitizer and then I expose them in the sun. These two actually happen to be uh, T-toned. Um, they're typically uh, blue, just like that. Uh, I thought, well, these are so bright. Maybe <laughs> when there's no sun, I can use these for printing. So I had some, I had some cloth that I had had. Um, sensitized some time ago. So it wasn't fresh, it wasn't ideal, but I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. So I did, and and you can see that, let me bring this here so you can see it better, kind of in the light. You can see that it did expose, but it's not as dark as it should be. This isn't cloth, but cloth does expose very dark as well, like you can see there. Um, so it's just, and this was probably maybe 25 minutes or a half hour, which when I do things um, at the height of uh, sunshine in the summer, something like this might only take, well, certainly less than 10 minutes, maybe even as short as six minutes. Um, but I wanted to experiment and see and later on, of course, afterwards, <laughs> I go online and I do a search for um, can you use grow lights to expose um, cyanotypes? And one person said that you might be able to, but, uh, but grow lights, I guess, are full spectrum and you want like purely UV for cyanotypes. Anyway, I don't know. And they said you you probably can do it but might take longer, which is my experience. So I probably won't be doing this. I, as far as using this for cyanotypes, I will probably just use it for seed starting. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll coat some new things. It's not, it's not worth the energy for the electricity <laughs> to use that for cyanotypes, I don't think. But it was an experiment, and I'm all about experiments. But I am excited to have gotten this done. Um, it was easier than I expected. There were a lot of extra pieces that had little screws in them, and I couldn't figure out what they were for, but clearly they were for something that I didn't need. Um, and I did follow the directions, so you just put, you put these little reflectors on the lights and then you put the clamps on and then you uh, put them on the chains, 
I was a little confused about how to run the the wires. I don't know why, because that's my brain. Just reading about it, so but when I did it, it was it was very easy. So I am excited to start plants. Um, and maybe, maybe on Imolk, I will go ahead and start my um, start my angelica seeds. There's Avery, just hanging out. I may make a fire. It's it's not real cold, but it's very damp. I hope you're all having a good Tuesday. <laughs>